Hi everybody, Elisa here with another Vera Bradley bag of the day with Pixie and Rosie and Peaches. Hopefully they won't start getting really crazy. They're a little, everyone's a little excited because it's snowing. Um, <laughs> anyway, this seemed like a good time to do a long overdue. Um, okay, stop, stop knocking the camera puppies. Let's see if I my tree and more. My tree that will be up for months and months and months. <laughs> um, this is a long overdue request video. Um, a long, long time ago when I had first started doing videos, <clears throat> I got an, a number, and I still uh, get these this request um, periodically, to do a video on my top 10 um, Vera Bradley bag styles. And so um, I thought I would do that today, and in my, you know, typical fashion, it's my top 10 list, but it's really 11 <laughs> because I have trouble making decisions, and then there are a few bonus patterns I, I did want to mention, although I don't have bags to show in, in those because, as I mentioned in recent videos, um, I, I've recently rearranged a lot of my... Um, Vera to try to make better use of space in my closet and so I don't have easy access to everything right now and so these are a handful of styles that I do like and they, they might not have made the top 10 but I did want to mention them and I don't I can't reach them <laughs> in, my, in my closet but people can google them you know and um, see what I'm talking about if they're not familiar with the styles or um, you know, just look online, whatever. Um, okay, so um, I did write these down so that I, I don't make a mistake. <laughs> and so I will start with, um, uh, up in reverse order, 11. This is 11. Um, I, I, I just wanted to include this bag, although it's not a bag that I use a lot, but I do love it. And it's the 100 handbag in this version, not the not the vintage version with the longer handles. I don't like that one at all, actually. I, I, I don't like the proportions of those long handles. But, um, sorry for the dog noises, as usual. <laughs> uh, with with a small a bag with too small of a body. Um, so I do like this, a real handbag with, with short handles that you can carry from your hand or slip it in the crook of your arm. And then it does have uh, a detachable, adjustable shoulder slash crossbody strap. Um, this pattern is Gramercy Paisley, which is not a, a, a pattern that's t high up there on my list of patterns that I like. But I do think it looks really pretty in the 100 handbag. I think that's an excellent uh, style pattern combo. Something about it. I have a bunch of videos on the 100 handbag. I like it because you can get, it's sort of deceptively small. I mean, or large or small. Dece deceptively small. <laughs> because you can get a lot in there. Um, more so than you would think. Um, and, and so I do have a couple, I think I have a playlist on the 100. I cover all the features and people can look around there, but there's, you know, a bunch of pockets inside, a couple of slip pockets, a, a zipper pocket, and then there are these two hidden, um, zipper pockets on the outside along with a slip pocket there. So, uh, just a great, a great bag. Uh, I, I like it because it reminds me of the Louis Vuitton Speedy. Um, which is way out of my price range. <laughs> but um, I, I do like this, and I, I like the versions that come with trim, coordinating trim. This is one of those versions. Not all of them have the coordinating trim. For example, the um, Garden Grove one doesn't have coordinating trim. I think that might be the only one that I have that doesn't have coordinating trim. Um, Okay, I, I feel like there's just a lot of crazy energy right here. Okay, so that's 11. So now, <laughs> now we go to the official top 10 part of the list. Um, and some of these, it's funny because things have changed. My, my feelings have changed since I was first asked way back in the day to do this 
uh, video. So um, I don't even think this style existed, and I was surprised at myself to find it on the list. But I have been using it recently, and I really do like it. This is the commuter tote, so number 10, rainforest canopy pattern I do love. I love anything with a tropical motif and anything with birds. Uh, I am a bird person and I like birds on my bags. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm just trying to squish down the bottom inside so it, it, when I hold it up maybe it doesn't look so flat like a pancake. There is a base in there, it's not removable and it is foldable. I mean this came sort of folded to me. So. Um, commuter tote. I have videos on this too. I have a video comparing this bag to the Vera tote. They're comparable in size, give or take. Um, but this one has a laptop sleeve inside and it has these pockets running all around um, up here. Uh, slip deep. Let's see. Yeah, all the way down. That this one in the center back is not a pocket. This is a trolley sleeve. But but the other is all around, deep slip pockets. Oh my God, Rosie. Rosie, 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 Rosie. Um, sorry for the dinging. That's my husband. <laughs> He's traveling for work. Um, and it's got this zipper pocket here. Inside, um, three, on one wall of the bag, three large slip pockets. And on the other side of the bag is a laptop compartment and these two sort of elasticized mesh slip pockets on top. So you still got, I know the Vera Tote has the six interior slip pockets. Oh my God, dogs. Peaches and Rosie, stop. You have my good dog. Pixie's sitting right here. She's so sweet. <laughs> the good dog. Um, so I know the Vera Toad has a six slip pocket, so you're losing a slip pocket in here, but you have those exterior ones. And then you have this laptop sleeve. So I will uh, I will show you another bag that I have that I also that is also on the list that has a laptop sleeve, and I do like where that one is positioned in the bag more. This one is positioned on one side of the bag. I, I like, for a laptop, I prefer the laptop sleeve to be in the center of the bag because it keep, keeps the balance of the bag better and the shape of the bag looking better. When I put my laptop in here, it kind of throws everything askew, you know, it's sort of stiff on one side because there's that, you know, the laptop in there and the other side is sort of curving out with all my stuff. So I'm not crazy about that. But what I do find with this bag is that when I'm not using it for a laptop, I love throwing stuff in here. I just throw a lot of random stuff in here and then I just use it. So I just use it as like this big slip pocket and I like that. So I think that's kind of what got this bag on the list. <laughs> and this, shockingly, is the only one of these that I have for, you know, if you, you if the bag is on your, you know, top styles list, you would think you would have a slew of them. I only have this one. Um, I, I was considering when it first came out, when I first sort of became aware of this pattern, I mean this style was in the pattern French Paisley and I did consider getting that, but I really wanted, um, I was only going to get one big bag in that pattern and I wanted the Vera Tote because it had the trim, the side trim. Um, I think they could u make use of a trim on this kind of a bag very easily with a strip right here, um, but you know, what do I know? <laughs> anyway, so um, uh, right now I only have one of these and probably for the foreseeable future, shocking, I will probably still only have one of these. <laughs> I do love this bag. Where's the bird? There's the blue bird. My favorite bird in the pattern is the blue bird right there in the front. I do love those big exotic leaves and this red flower, um, the red and blue flower there. I like that color combo. I also like the red bird. Here's the red bird. He's looking a little orange there, but that is the red bird. Yeah, that is the red bird in this pattern. I do like that bird very much too. Anyway, oh, and I should show the lining here. Um, I think this is the only, yeah, this is the only bag in this pattern that I'll be showing. The lining is nice too. 
anything with a tropical uh, motif and feel and palm leaves, I'm, I'm just going to be all over. You know, I wish you guys would just stop wrestling or whatever you think you're doing over there. Okay, that was 10, the com uh, commuter tote. 9, the work tote. Um, a little bit smaller than the computer the commuter tote, but has a laptop sleeve. And um, just showing them together for size. So you can see this is quite a bit smaller. And so that's kind of nice when you don't want to, you know, so you're, you don't, you have an, a size option. This is all, it's not, I guess it's, I don't know if you would call this a medium sized tote, but it's sort of it's tending to, you know, starting to go in that direction a little bit more medium size because that Vera tote also is sort of, you know, ginormous. Um, and this work tote style comes in only the performance twill. Um, and this is Seawater Blooms. I love, love this pattern. Um, really like watercolor painting, this pattern. And I have this, I have featured this bag in a, a video. I'll try, I was, I'll, I'll try to remember to put some links down below um, to other pertinent, you know, rel related videos. Um, so this bag, you know, lots of nice big zipper pocket and slip pocket on the front trolley sleeve with, now this is nice, this is the kind of, I've said this in other videos, if you're going to do a trolley sleeve on a bag, it should be done this way, with a zipper on the bottom, so that it has a dual function, you know, it can function, you know, as a true trolley sleeve, but, you know, I rarely use that as a trolley sleeve. Um, and so now, it, when it's zipped up, this functions as a slip pocket got metal hardware here on the straps, so the straps kind of line nicely when they're down and not lie nice against the bottom of the bag, I mean the sides of the bag. In a recessed zipper, as same as the commuter tote. Commuter tote also has a, a recessed uh, zipper on the top. A slight dip in the top edge, you can see that, slight curve, that's kind of nice. And this is recycled cotton. I shouldn't have mentioned that. Um, but this bag didn't lose any features when they made the transition from their regular cotton to their recycled cotton, which is kind of why this bag doesn't bug me as much as, say, the new Vera totes and the recycled cotton. Um, so, uh, You know, this bag never had piping. I'm really sorry for that noise. Guys, guys, stop it. Stop it. Enough. Thank you, Rose. Thank you. Um, this didn't lose the, you know, piping, edging the straps. It didn't lose piping on the top. This was how it was. Like, if you look at the one French Paisley, it's just like this. And so... You know, at least there's that. <laughs> I don't feel like that really suffers as much from being, you know, the transition to the recycled cotton as the Vera tote, uh, which lost some features that helped give it good structure. Um, this is performance twill, a larger quilt stitching pattern, and of course a different type of fabric, water repellent or something like that. A little bit weightier, even when the bag, you know, bag is empty. So here you see the, the laptop sleeve in the center. That's what I like when I'm carrying a laptop, especially. Um, but when I'm not, again, because of balance. But even when I'm not carrying a laptop, I do use slip things in this center section. It's handy. But why I really like this bag, I mean, in addition to the, the smaller size, um, and the straps are nice too, and that they taper over the shoulder. I've mentioned this in my other videos in this bag. So I feel like they stay on my shoulder a little bit better, uh, even though the material is slick and a little slippery. But I like to use this bag when I'm carrying knitting with me, knitting projects with me, because this center laptop sleeve acts as a nice uh, divider. And so I can keep all my typical bag stuff on one side and then I can put my knitting stuff on the other side and the 
my none of my stuff gets tangled up in my yarn or you know causes problems with my knitting and so for that reason I really like this bag of course it's not a humongous bag and so you know not all of my knitting projects would work well in here <laughs> but it, I have done that and it and it, I do enjoy using it that way it has these two slip pockets on this wall of the bag and they're edged in fabric which is always a nice touch you know just a nice a nice finishing touch with that piece of fabric edging the top of the slip pocket and then there are some more slip pockets and places for pens and stuff on this side of the laptop sleeve and with both of those lap the laptop sleeves in both these bags there's that velcro tab to close it this side is just one if I didn't say it one big zipper pocket and look at that gorgeous lining Ah, oh, these leaves, just gorgeous. And the palette here. I I've talked about all this in, in the video where I talk about this bag. You see this bag, or I also have a Vera Tote in this pattern. In one of those videos, I talk, um, you know, in a, a little more depth about the, um, the pattern and the color palette. So that's number um, nine, the work tote. So these are not... Uh, my actual literal favorite bags, like, you know, like what bags I would take with me if I could only have certain bags. These are bag styles. I mean, some of these bags might be on that favorite bag list, but these are top 10 styles. <laughs> and number eight is the Bright Tote. I wish they would, you know, release this again in a couple more patterns and I didn't realize until like a couple of days ago when I was reading some of the posts in the insiders focus group your Bradley focus group that I'm in um, that this year is the 40th anniversary of the company the founding of the company um, and so there's all this sort of chatter that maybe they would be doing sort of certain special releases this year um, because they I guess they they had something special on QVC um, like the grand tote in a couple of patterns that they hadn't offered it in elsewhere, like Hummingbird Park and um, Paisley Wave. I uh, can't remember. There may have been one or two others. Oh, Garden Grove, I think. Um, anyway, so it was leading people to wonder if uh, maybe they were going to do something else <laughs> later on in the year because the woman who was presenting on QVC had mentioned the anniversary. Um, so I was hoping that maybe they would do another bright tote for QVC in a couple patterns. I don't know if they will, but this I got from, this was a QVC offering, a bright tote. They offered the bright tote in um, Bordeaux Blooms, which I have, and uh, in Holiday Owls, which I have and I love. And those were also charcoal medallion I mean some of those were like offered in their retail stores or in Macy's or whatever that's where, that's where I got my Bordeaux Blooms one this one was QVC I'm pretty sure exclusive to QVC Foxwood bright tote so I love the slouchiness of this bag it is very deep there is some kind of base in there uh, not none of these bases in these more recent bags are removable but they're soft and, and the bags are washable, um, usually. I mean, I haven't washed the commuter tote or the work tote, but I have washed beer totes with non-removable bases, and I've washed uh, performance twill beer totes. Um, and I know people who have washed performance twill backpacks and had no problem, so um, anyway. What I like about this bag is the slouchiness and the soft rolled handles. And when you load it up, and I have, again, I have videos on this. <laughs> when you load it up, it kind of has a nice drape to it, you know, here. And your arm can fit through it very easily. And also it has these exterior east-west pockets that I like. And a little bit more width this way, or thickness this way, that I do like. And inside... <laughs> That's Pixie. Pixie barking literally at nothing outside. She's a tough girl. <laughs> um, 
I try to tell her no one is afraid of her, but she just isn't. She's not getting it. Inside, it also has east, east west slip pockets. And I love those. I love an east-west interior slip pocket. I find them so handy for a cell phone, for a wallet, for hand sanitizer. Really love them. And so when I first was getting into this bag, I was using those interior pockets and then I switched to over to a Vera tote and it was like, oh my god, where's that interior east-west pocket? I really missed that. So anyway, do do like this bag a lot. Recess top zipper, bright tote, number eight. Seven. Now, this is a more vintage uh, style, and I do love it. I really love it. Um, this is the Tic Tac tote. Uh, the large size, but it, which is, I don't know if they actually call it a large Tic Tac tote. I, don't, I think they just call it Tic Tac tote. And there is a smaller version as well. So if you're interested in this and you're buying it online, be careful. Um, if you're that you're getting the size that you want and they both have a removable cardboard base um, that slips out I have washed all of my vintage I, I wash all my vintage stuff because um, of the little OCD girl who lives inside me <laughs> um, so I, I only like the big, the larger size than the tic-tac-toe. The small one's too small for me. Um, just both overall, you know, uh, width and, and height, but also this this way is too narrow for me. Um, and I also think that when you get in that, to that smaller tic-tac-toe size, the proportions are different. The proportions of the trim, the width of the trim, to the overall size of the bag and then the spaces that are made from you know the the in between the trim strips that all looks different because it's a smaller bag and i think it looks better visually proportions and everything this bag is better looking bag um this is yellow bird one of my favorite patterns it's always in my, my favorite patterns lists <laughs> And I, I already had one of these that I had gotten very for very cheap, and it was in okay shape, although the seller hadn't been forthcoming about the condition of the base, which was torn in two, shoved into its sleeve in there, but torn in two. So I was a little pissed off when I received that, um, that she hadn't disclosed that. That bag, I think, has two birds on it. When I saw this recently, and it was also a really good price, I can't remember, maybe $30 or something like that, um, and I saw the two birds, I thought, that's nice, and it's not, it looks like it's a little bit crisper than the one I have, but I'm just looking at the listing. <laughs> and I looked at the back, I got to the pictures of the back, and there were two more birds, and I thought, I, what are the odds that you would get four complete, basically complete birds falling, you know, in the right spot, you know, not cut off by any of the strips of trim. So if people are familiar with this pattern, there are sort of two versions of the trim. There's this thinner version of the trim that you see here, and then there's a wider band of trim that has the birds in it, more birds in it, which is just gorgeous. Um, I'm sure I've shown that in other videos. I have videos of other bags and this pattern. Um, but anyway, so, and, uh, so this is just a toggle closure. It's not a zip top, at least not this version. Uh, there's a later version of the tic-tac-tote where they did add a recessed zip top. Um, I have one of, I think one or two of those. I definitely have one of those. Um, I, I should show that in a video one day. But this one is the older version and it's just a toggle uh, top closure. And then you get these sort of hanging um, pocket things. <laughs> One's a zipper and then two slip ones and these sort of flap around um, so anyway just just love it love this tote so I was seven right yes tic-tac-tote uh, another vintage style this is six now love this bag I mean this could be farther up in the numbers but um, I put it at six. Oh, sorry mama um, the reversible tote 
love, love, love this bag. I have, as I've been saying here, I have videos on this bag. Yes, there's a video for that. <laughs> um, this is, oh God, what's this called? Blue Rhapsody. I haven't talked about this pattern in a long time, but I have talked about it in videos because I could just go on and on about this pattern forever. One of my favorite patterns up there, very close to the top. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous pattern. Look at that beautiful flower there, flower head there. I feel like this is kind of a classic Vera Bradley pattern, you know, vintage pattern. This has got every, it's got it all. You know, it's got these sort of fantastical flowers. It's very crammed full with, with the details. Like there's more of the pattern details relative to the background, the negative space in the background. Um, very full with pattern. And it's got the paisley shapes worked in there, which is kind of a, a classic Vera Bradley motif. And so this is a true reversible bag. I also like that it's a short strap, nice, thick, kind of cushy, a little cushy shoulder strap. Sits up high. That's how I like my shoulder bags to be. I don't like shoulder bags that hang low at my hip because I think that looks dated. Top has a covered magnet closure. It's kind of square. It's like two pieces of square magnet in here. You can sort of feel them moving around. And this top tr this top band has channel stitching, which is nice. Little little detail. And I love these O rings. Kind of have a sort of a hippie '60s or '70s vibe. <laughs> and these two very small um, east, exterior east west pockets with trim. Again, the thinner version of the trim in this pattern. Because this pattern, in other styles, has thicker trim. And so, when, and no, no base, but it has good structure throughout because it is a reversible bag and a true reversible bag where the walls of the bag have two layers of the quilted fabric. You know, just next to each other. Um, so it keeps its shape really well. I mean, even with nothing in it. I'm going to reverse it. Oop, as I knock myself in the face. I'm going to reverse it to show why it's really a true reversible bag. Because there are other bags, like when they came out with the Grand Tote, they were saying, oh, it's reversible on the website. And I was like, don't try that nonsense. It's not a reversible bag because it's not fully finished in the interior the way that it is on the exterior. So when you turn it inside out, it does not look the same. Um, it, it looks weird because it's not really reversible. Yeah, I can turn any of my bags inside out and carry them that way. <laughs> but I don't because I don't look like a crazy woman. <laughs> um, so here, when you turn this inside out, you know, you get the slip pockets bordered with the trim. You get piping on the seams, just like on the exterior. The only thing that makes it look a little maybe strange is this, that this is the exterior fabric, but it kind of looks a little bit like trim. So anyway, uh, Blue Rhapsody reversible tote. Great bag. Oh, I have a, a bunch of reversible totes. I do like them. Uh, five. What am I doing here? Okay. Large on the go. The regular on the go, I do have a couple of them. They're a little on the small side for me. Um, I mean, occasionally you want a smaller bag, and so it's nice to have them, but I am someone who likes to carry a lot of stuff with me. <laughs> And I like I start to feel naked if I don't have all my crap with me, so um, I need a bigger bag most of the time. And the large on the go is helpful in that way. And I use it crossbody. This is foxwood. Uh, I do use a crossbody, and um, it has it's not removable, but it has this adjustable shoulder crossbody strap. And when this is at its shortest now. And when it's at its shortest and I use it as a shoulder bag, it feels a little long. So I tend to take a removable strap off of another bag, usually my Carson Hobos, and clip it on to the, the hardware here. And that gives me a strap drop that I like. Um, and I do that with a, a couple bags. 
So I've done that with the 100 even. It works well. Anyway, big zipper pocket on the front. Slip pocket with a magnetic snap, uh, snap covered magnet closure on the back. Exterior, small-ish, east-west uh, pockets, exterior east-west pockets. Inside, two slip pockets, again, edged with fabric, which is that nice finishing uh, touch there. On the other wall of the bag is a zipper pocket, a nice size zipper pocket. And my favorite thing about this bag, interior east-west pockets. They have a little bit of a, it's hard to see here, they have a little bit of a gathered edge. And my um, hand sanitizer bottle fits perfectly in there. So when they stopped making this, right, I don't know what the last pattern was this came out in, maybe Hummingbird Park. Um, I was just sort of brokenhearted because I was like, where am I going to put my hand sanitizer? <laughs> so such a perfect match there. So anyway, when I um, put an alternate strap on here, I just take this strap and put it, sometimes I have to adjust it, make it a little longer. But I just sort of, you know, put it down under the bottom of the bag so it's out of the way. You can play with the, the adjust this, the length there so that it, you know, it fits nicely that way. So that was five, yes, large on the go, boxwood. This pattern is boxwood. Four, uh, an, a similar kind of a bag, a Hadley on the go satchel. Um, Cross, it's a, basically a crossbody, again, adjustable, not removable strap, but I have, this is the other style, I have used my Carson Hobo strap on a lot, and when I do that, I just take this again, and I sort of just, you know, put it down so that it's sort of laying uh, uh, alongside the edge of the bag, and it's out of the way. But I do tend to use this crossbody more than anything, and I love it as a crossbody bag. This is um, Vines Floral. The Hadley line was nice because it had this micro square quilting, as you can see, which I talked about way back in the day when I started doing videos. So I talked about the Hadley tote a lot, which I love, um, which could be on here. I mean, <laughs> you know, honorable mention, the Hadley tote. Shout out to the Hadley tote. Uh, <laughs> um, you see her? I don't know if you can see her there. She's not really. She's obsessed with licking her feet lately, and they put all this salt outside. I mean, like, just too, way too much salt, and so I'm sure she's ingesting some of it. You know, I can't get it all off of her feet, and ugh, it's a lot of licking and throwing up during the winter. Um, anyway, so that, that micro square, square quilting, which is in the Hadley line and on the Hadley tote and on this, really provides a nice drape. It, 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 alters the drape of the fabric. I've talked about this, and so that's kind of nice. Any kind of um, quilting, stitching that's closer together, like channel stitching will do this too, really affects the, the, the drape of the fabric and how the fabric moves and creates folds. And so um, it's, a, it's a nice change. And so that's on, on this. And this has also exterior east-west pockets and a nice width. You know, so it's a cross, I like a crossbody with some width to it, but, but yet it's still soft and drapey. So that when I'm walking, it's not sort of sticking out from my body awkwardly. I don't like too much structure in a crossbody bag because when you walk, it's sort of then sort of bouncing against your body and it doesn't conform to your body enough for me. So that's why I don't like like the multi, for a number of reasons, but that's one of the reasons I don't like the multi-strap bag that they have now, which has those shorter handles and a crossbody strap, and it's got a little too much structure for me to use crossbody. Inside, you know, a couple of, is it two, I think it is, two or three, no, two 
slip pockets on one wall and, and one zip pocket on the other wall of the bag, you know, kind of standard. Um, so I, I do like this. And it has this, these, I guess you could call these handles. It has these two kind of, maybe that's what's giving it the satchel part of its name. Um, and the knot detail, or is it knots? Yeah, there's knot detail here. Um, those don't unknot, you know, this, this won't ever unknot and slip off or anything. It's just a decorative thing that's tacked down. And it's, um, you know, it can be found on other bags in the Hadley line, like the uh, Hadley, the north-south tote, the Hadley tote, the longer one, and also the east-west, the Hadley east-west tote, which is sort of the shorter version. So the Hadley on the go satchel binds floral. Uh, that was four. Okay, three. It's actually technically, I guess it's a bag. I, I don't consider it a bag, but I, it's on here because on my list because I use this thing every day. I love this item. Um, I use it in my bags as sort of protection around my cell phone. Um, so I'm never wearing this, but it is the Carson cell phone crossbody. So technically it's a bag and it does have a strap, which I remember it's a removable strap that it threads through these loops under the flap and you can wear a crossbody. And I've shown that in videos for this. <laughs> um, cat's meow. I, I just, I just love this thing. And when I, uh, when I use a smaller bag and feel like I can't, I need the space or it doesn't even fit in the slip pocket that I want to put it in or whatever, it doesn't seem to be fitting in the bag nicely and I don't even really need it and so I don't take it. I'm always kind of bummed. I'm always like, I, I, I like to have this. I like my cell phone to have a house. <laughs> um, anyway, so the Carson cell phone crossbody makes it on here. It does have a, a sort of a slip pocket back there and a zip ID does fit in there. You you know, you gotta cram it in there, but a zip ID will fit in there. So, I mean, sometimes when I don't wanna take a bag, um, I could put my cell phone in here and then just stick, if I, I can use a zip ID as a small wallet and cram that in there, it's handy. And then I just carry this as a clutch. So, of course, that leaves my keys. You know, I have to do something with my keys, usually just hold them. But I, I do like this item. Okay, so that's that. That was three. What are we getting here? Okay, two is the Vera Tote. I mean, I can't not talk about the Vera Tote. Um, just looking around at all my bags. <laughs> um, and so uh, I use the Vera Tote almost every day. I love it. It's a real workhorse. I'm always saying that. It's, it's humongous and you get a lot of stuff in there and it's sturdy. And then I have a bunch of the different styles here. I don't have the recycle. I forgot to pull out the one in recycled cotton, but I have videos on it. Not a big fan. <laughs> Not a big fan um, of the cotton, but putting just the cotton aside, um, it's the lack of the, the change in the styling details. They gave up certain, I think, styling details for cost reasons would be my guess. That's what they, why they did that. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's a real drag. <laughs> it's a real drag, man. Okay, so this is, you know, one of the earlier, like, vintage style Vera's. Um, toggle, closure, uh, you can see it there, and a loop. No zip top closure, just open. Slip pocket on that side, which is technically the front, I guess, because that's where the toggle is. And then on the back, is a zipper pocket um, and the beautiful trim up top. You know, back in the day when everything had coordinating trim as it should, <laughs> as it should still have. Um, this, I think this pattern is Where's Mickey? One of the Disney patterns. Love it. Love the color scheme and just love this kind of a, a Disney collaboration pattern where the, the Mickey shapes, the Disney shapes. Um, sorry, Peach is right down here. So, like, which dog is pressing up against me? Um, you see her. 
see her there. Yes, we see you, peaches. Yes. <laughs> um, so I feel like design-wise, you know, the designers took a little bit more, put a little bit more thought into utilizing the Disney shapes and working them into the pattern so that you had to look for them. They're really integrated into the pattern and almost hidden in a way, and you have to look for them and find them. Um, whereas now, even though I do like some of the Disney patterns now, and I have some of them, um, it's a different kind of a pattern to me. It's more like the pattern is designed and then the Disney characters are sort of plunked down on top of them and worked in, tried to sort of be worked in as an afterthought. That's more how that feels to me now. This is the style, the type of a Disney Vera Bradley pattern that I prefer. So um, this, this is a great bag. Removable cardboard base. Just just great. You can see you can see the Disney heads worked in there. And there were also Disney figures. This particular here's one. I didn't get a lot of of this on this bag, but some of them are sort of almost like leaves. This Mickey figures in this pattern. And I do like that. I mean I don't have the money right now, but I, I always look at this bag. Even though I have it, I always look at it. Oh well. I'm not doing any really any vintage, Vera vintage buying anymore. Um, but I was always sort of looking at this bag thinking, well, maybe I'll get a second one that has more sections like this on it. Um, but it tends to be expensive. These tend to be expensive when they're in good condition. No one's giving these away. Um, so and you got the trim, the floral kind of pattern in the trim. Anyway, uh, love, love the color scheme too. Love this sort of periwinkle blue and this sort of aqua color and this chartreuse. Love char this chartreuse kind of color. Love it. And it's sort of darker, slightly darker, like more pea soup green. It's a navy background. A lighter blue. Very pretty. Um, so that's that. That's one version of the Vera Taupe. Then I think they sort of moved to something more like this. This is my first ever Vera Bradley bag. My husband gave it to me. Uh, this is Havana Rose. Now we've got a recessed zipper on, on top. Oh, and I should mention, because this is a change. So inside here, uh, this is that when they were still, you would still see the quilted lining. And the slip pockets, and there are six in here, were also quilted fabric. So that's nice because it gives a, it adds to the structure of the bag and um, things are fl aren't flopping around in there as much. There's more structure and stiffness and body. And so that's nice. Um, like on, on a bag like this, I don't really feel like I need a Carson cell phone crossbody. I feel like I can just slip my cell phone into the padded, you know, quilted slip pocket. So. This, they added a recess, recessed zipper up top, um, but the, now you've lost the quilted lining. You know, they, they're, you know, I think there aren't two pieces of quilted fabric. You know, that, that quilting in the inside is the backing of this exterior fabric, but they've put a finished pattern on it rather than it just you know, being the batting or whatever. Whereas, so here, instead of doing that, instead of finishing that back side of the quilting, uh, the quilted fabric, they've, they've slapped down a non-quilted lining covering it. Because underneath it, you can feel the quilting that is this quilting, you know. Why, I'm not, no, I'm not gonna give you those. I know that you know they're up there, but you're not getting that right now. She knows her balls are up there. She's obsessed with balls. <laughs> Have these balls and if I give her a ball she's just gonna chase it all over the place and probably knock into the Christmas tree yes I know you <laughs> anyway these six slip pockets in here are edged with fabric which is nice again that nice detail finishing detail so this these this is heavy fabric it's almost like two layers of fabric I think feels like making these slip pockets and so they still have nice structure to them they have nice body not a flimsy feeling lining um, yet with this stage of the Vera tote. And we've got piping here now. 
still a slip pocket and zipper pocket on the other side. That's just that keeping that configuration. This is a gorgeous pattern, Havana Rose. Gorgeous. And butterflies and lovely yellow roses too. Okay, and then um, you know, we get to sort of the current well, no, it's not current because it's recycled. But the that's the most current, but this is not recycled. This is still the new fabric, but the more, you know, current styling now. So the slip pocket and the zipper pocket are now on the same side of the bag, sort of layered on top of each other there. This side doesn't have anything. Do you have trim? This, this one, this particular pattern, Felicity Paisley, um, which was a breast cancer pattern, does have the piping, but it's not microfiber. It's the same fabric as the body, the bag, which I like. I like when they did that. Because it kind of reminds me of the vintage styles more, like as an example. Um, that's what's that's what you see on the, this reversible tote. The piping is fabric in the pattern, not micro solid microfiber. So I do like that. And at this point, they recess top zipper still, but they've added this hidden slip pocket here, which is nice. Um, this Havana Rose does have a removable base. I think it's plastic. Let me just feel. Yes, it's a piece of plastic that's removable. So that's nice. It still has a removable base. This removable base was cardboard. Now, it's not a removable base, but as I'm always saying, I have washed Vera totes like this, this, this exact style Vera tote um, version of it. It goes through fine, so I don't know what that base is made of, maybe some kind of soft plastic but it, or some kind of heavy fabric, but it goes through fine. Uh, six slip pockets, but now the lining is kind of feeling looser a little bit, thinner moves around more, makes more noise, <laughs> a little crunchy sometimes, um, but still, still, you know, like, like I say, a workhorse bag. I mean, I have loaded this bag up when I travel to my dad's. I have put my laptop in here. I have put all my bag stuff, you know, you typical bag stuff, plus my, you know, any GPS, easy pass, you know, things I might not be carrying every day really loaded up and it holds up and I never feel like I have to worry that you know the stitching isn't going to hold up by the edges by the straps whatever never had a problem with it so I, I really only have good things to say about this the Vera tote is even though it is humongous I mean that that you know that's what you want that's what I'm looking for when I use this bag I'm looking for humongous still in the Vera tote now I do want to mention um, Okay, who's dinging me now? We're getting snow, so we're getting. All, I'm, I think my husband's a little concerned because um, he's not here for it. I'm by myself here. Well, I'm not by myself. I have my girls. <laughs> Just hoping we don't lose power. I mean, because I have a kerosene. We have a kerosene heater, and I'm, I, he can talk, walk me through turning it on myself. I just haven't done it in a while. I love that kerosene heater, though. Wow, that thing really throws a lot of heat. <laughs> um, this this particular pattern didn't come with trim so of course now you know we're not and I'm talking about trim here I'm not talking about the vintage bags with the trim you know this is just a trim that they throw on the Vera tote every now and then to throw us a bone and make us think about the good old days when trim was on everything and <laughs> <laughs> and why oh why can't Vera put trim on everything again like they used to? So this this part of this one in the pattern didn't have uh, this pattern didn't have um, trim. Although the Felicity Paisley pink version does have trim. Um, I don't know if I've ever shown that in a video. I can't remember, but I do have pictures of it on my Instagram feed because I do have that one too, and it's very pretty. And it's hard to resist a Vera toe with trim for me anyway. It's a lot of Vera stuff I can't resist. <laughs> um, but here, just to show how it looks with the trim, this is Hummingbird Park. And um, if I'm not mistaken, this may be the last pattern that they did that came out. Um, 
before they moved to recycled fabric because there was a delay in the release of this. Okay, I feel like my dog is behind the Christmas tree. Yeah, peaches, please don't get yourself stuck back there and knock my tree over. It's hard for me to move around. I, I pulled something in my neck, so I'm a little stiff. <laughs> so I kind of keep moving around a lot. I'm sorry, and adjusting my camera. So you can see this has the trim, and I just wanted to hold it up, hold up the beer toe with the trim, you know, the current uh, use of the trim. So pretty. I love this pattern. I love everything about this pattern. I went a little hog wild with this pattern, and I, you know, knew it coming that I was going to. <laughs> love the lavender, those lavender sprays there. I always saying in a lot of videos, lavender is my mom's favorite color. It reminds me of her. So I do like to carry lavender. I do like, I would like to get more lavender clothing. <laughs> I always like to buy lavender yarn to knit with. Um, and this pattern, of course, has the hummingbirds. People know that it has the hummingbirds. So the hummingbirds there. There's another one there somewhere, I think. I don't know. Maybe it's on the back. That's nice. Look at the fabric there. Love this pattern. I have videos on this pattern. So, um, anyway. And then I did want to mention, just shout out to the factory style Vera, which also has um, got gotten some design changes recently. And I did show this video, this bag in a recent, my last video, and talked about that, where they changed some of the styling in the factory outlet store Vera. Uh, and this is the only one I have in this with the most recent styling. Um, my others are packed away, so I couldn't show them. But they, they used to be more, you know, like like this with the toggle and the quilted pockets. Um, and now they're more like the signature line in that. The, the signature line before it went recycled. <laughs> in that, they have it has piping and it has this sort of thinner non-quilted lining and a zipper top now. But I did want to mention it because I'm loving this bag. Um, you know, I tend to think of the factory bags as a little chintzy, but I'm really liking this. I don't, I, I, I'm not feeling like it's quite so chintzy um, compared to the signature line. So I'm really liking this bag. Slip pocket on that side, zip pocket on the other. This is Bengal Lily. Okay, this is a long video, but I'm almost done. <laughs> and my number one, so that Vera toe, all those Vera totes, that's number two. And my number one favorite bag style, which they don't make anymore, is the Carson North South tote. Uh, this is Dragon Fruit Floral, one of my favorite patterns. This bag in particular, this bag style pattern combo would be on my favorite bag list literally like this is a literal favorite bag that I would take with me if I you know I couldn't have all of my bags and I had to choose this would be one of them love this bag dragon fruit floral Carson north south tote the only thing I'm not crazy about in this bag style is the top metal zipper because it's that sort of scratchy um, harder metal zipper um, this style existed before they made that transition to that softer plastic zipper that still looks a little like metal. And so I, I love this front flap, big slip pocket under this front flap with a magnetic snap closure and hidden slip pocket behind. Love that. So, nothing on the back really, just, just nice look at the pattern. But the seaming is interesting here. So the seaming is under the straps, which are a bit wide set, you know, so when you carry it, it does kind of slouch a little bit. These are rolled straps, and they do have a little bit of padding to them, but they're a bit crunchy. Um, they're not as sort of soft as maybe some of the vintage rolled straps, but they stand my shoulders really well. That's why this takes spot number one rather than the Vera tote, because these straps stand my shoulder better. The Vera tote... I don't have too much of a problem with it, but I, I ha sometimes they do slip off and I do have to sort of make sure I've sort of overlapped them so that they kind of keep each other on my shoulder. But that seaming here, 
under these straps, you know, it gives you some width here. So when you pack the bag up, the bag has some, you know, width to it this way, you know. So I like that look when it's packed up with stuff. And then inside, a slip pocket, a zipper pocket. And I think it's two somewhat small slip pockets on the other wall of the bag. This particular pattern has a cotton poly blend lining, not the nylon, so that's great. This is they were moving people were I think they were hearing people's complaints about the nylon linings. And so they made this move back to this other fabric that's more cotton-like. It's a blend, but um, it's, it's nice. It's an improvement. This, this particular pattern lining has, there's sort of like fireflies in the lining there. There, this one. Love this, love this pattern. So my number one bag style, the Carson North-South tote. And then just real quick, honorable mentions, I just want to say, uh, Carson Hobo, love that bag. The only reason it's not on, literally on the list is because of that top zipper. Um, and it's a little small for me now that I started carrying more of my crap with me. <laughs> but I do like the slouchiness of it, love the strap drop, uh, and you can wear it crossbody or as a shoulder strap, and I like that that strap is removable so I can use it on other bags. Um, so Carson Hobo, uh, then a good vintage style that I do like is the Morgan, and I have videos on that. That's really more of a, a handbag, a kind of, shoulder bag that kind of looks like a purse, very girly, vintage with that big top band of coordinating trim, um, and a zipper top, a small, kind of like a little puffy ball. I do like that. I have a bunch in, in that style. Um, and the Hadley North-South. Uh, that, that Hadley tote, that, that, that's a great bag, and I have videos on that. Um, I think that was it as far as my honorable mentions. <laughs> um, anyway, that was it. Oh, coming in at about an hour, oh my word. Um, if you've made it all the way through, maybe not all at one sitting, but anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope people found that enjoyable, and 